Hello and welcome to the history of the AECT's definitions of educational technology. First we will review the primary purpose and considerations for defining educational technology. Next we will review each of the four previous definitions. We will examine the context and rationales for decisions made. We will also present some of the historical criticisms of the definitions which provided the impetus for changing the definitions. As the definition of educational technology, audiovisual communication is that branch of educational theory and practice primarily concerned with the design and use of messages which control the learning process. It undertakes the study of the unique and relative strengths and weaknesses of both pictorial and non-representational messages, which may be employed in the learning process for any purpose in the structure and systematizing of messages by men and instruments in an education environment. These include the planning, production, selection, management, and utilization of both components and entire instructional systems. Its practical goal is the efficient utilization of every method and medium of communication which can contribute to the development of the learner's full potential. There are three major shifts that contributed to the formulation the of, the of the process versus versus product educational concept. technology as it is theory. process concept emphasize the relationship between events as dynamic and continuous. Use of the terms messages and media instrumentation rather than materials and machines. The concept of media instrumentation included the people that utilize the instruments as well as the transmission systems. The introduction of certain lenings of learning and communication theories, such as source, message, channel, receiver, effects, stimulus, organism, and response all added to the education technology field. The 1963 definition was heavily influenced by James Finn's six characteristics of a profession, an intellectual technique, an application of the technique, a period of long training, an association, a series of standards and ethics, and intellectual theory that is constantly expanded. Finn was troubled by a lack of theoretical direction and absence of intellectual meat. The first definition was an attempt to bring together remnants of theory, technique, other research and history into a logical statement to close the gap on the poverty of thought. Less than a decade later Hainick argued that communications-based language was too complicated for school personnel, and power regarding technology in school should belong to curriculum planners. In 1972 Silber introduced the term learning system. Silber's position was the learner should make decisions regarding the use of educational technology. The three concepts central to the 1972 definition were a broad range of learning resources, individualized learning, and use of the systems approach. Criticism of the definition included the appropriateness of technology for instruction in a technological society, a neglect to include a theoretical rationale, and the limited role of the educational technologist. The 1977 definition was a 169-page book designed to analyze complex ideas and show how they were related. The conceptual difference between the terms educational technology and instructional technology constituted a large portion of this book. The definition that was produced in 1994 had nearly come full circle. In 1963 educational technology was a theory. In 1972 it had been called a definition. By 1977 it was a profession. The 1994 definition read, Instructional technology is the theory and practice of design, development, utilization, management, and evaluation of processes and resources for learning. Challenges faced by this definition included acknowledgement that the terms educational and instructional technology were used interchangeably. A second criticism was that the 1994 definition looked too much like the system's approach to instructional development. Also that it was too restrictive for mainstream teachers. The authors of the 1994 definition were still trying to argue that educational technology referred to the relatively permanent change in a person's knowledge or behavior due to experience. And so the latest definition is that educational technology is the study and ethical practice of facilitating learning and improving performance by creating, using, and managing appropriate technological processes and resources. This short was based on Chapter 10. A history of the ACT's definitions of educational technology from the book, Educational Technology, written by Alan Januszewski and Michael Melinda.